Hey everyone, what's up? Cameron here, and uh, today I wanted to bring you guys just a relatively short Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet video. I've got a couple more videos planned, but uh, for this one I just wanted to be relatively short. We're going to be talking about respec kits, and you know, I just wanted to talk about it because I realized I used these things kind of recklessly when I first found out about them. I used the respec kits on loadouts, and I was being reckless with my CP points, putting them in places where they didn't exactly belong, and then I was like, oh, frick. I gotta use a respec kit because I, I want to redo this build and I just want to give you all tips and a guide on how they work how you can get them and going about the usage of them so let's go ahead and hop right into it All right, so the first thing that I wanted to go over is exactly where you can find respect kits at. The blue haired lady in the middle of the lobby is known as the metal trader. She's the one that's going to give you a bunch of materials and a bunch of stuff that you'll need later uh, down the road. So for example, she's got like, uh, let's see, I think she's got like uh, materials like R10, R9 materials. Yeah, she's got like R10 materials, R9. You get the gist. This lady is where you're going to buy your respect kits. You can get three each playthrough. So let's say you use three of your respect respect kits and you're just like crap I made a bad build I need to redo this build right you're gonna have to play through the game again until you get to the point where you have to go to the SPC Flugel and once you actually beat the boss and it tells you like, do you want to rewind time you do that and then you can come back to the metal trader and you can get your respect kits so that's where you'll get them like I said she's in the lobby if you're wondering where the lobby is it's just a couple of locations down from the urban district right, so next up is I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to use the respect kits um, and a wise manner so we're gonna come over here to the console and as you'll see I'll go to my customization data and right here I have this loadout or customization data which is completely devoid of anything and then I already used a respect kit on this one but what I did was previously I had a build using this loadout and I basically put points where I wanted them to be as well as weapons and accessories for me and my Arphasis. But I was like, you know what? I do not want to respect another loadout or customization data right now. I just kind of want to do a different build, uh, just kind of experiment with a different build and see what I come up with without using another respect kit um, on another customization data. So here's my tip for you guys is when you get a respect kit, respect one of the datas and do not save your loadout to that data because what happens is whenever you put all of your points into the different stats, and you save your loadout basically what happens is is you save that build to one of these datas you can respect it but what happens is is you save your build to the data and let's say you want it to remove the customizations right so let's see let's say you want to remove the customizations it's not going to do anything all it'll do is remove your equipment but it does keep the stats numbers at the top as you'll see and that's why i say don't save your builds just when you have a build go ahead and do a build and then don't save it to the customization data now obviously it's good for when you're in multiplayer and you're probably like you know what i need it i have like a sniper i have a build for a sniper like a raw dps sniper build i want to go ahead and switch to that it's good for when you need to switch to stuff on the go like if you're in a multiplayer lobby or something like that but i say for if you're more of the single player aspect um, I personally say just don't save your builds to the datas because then it'll save the numbers and let's say one day you want to change that, you're going to have to play through the game again if you've already used your respec kits and that's just a slog because this game's story in my opinion it's playful but at the same time there's so much dialogue that it's it's just boring and you know you're, you're basically just um <laughs> it's like a huge weight that's on your shoulders and you're just like so bored um but yeah that's just my tip and sorry about my voice guys if it sounds a little um i guess screechy or cracky or just down it's like four in the morning here it's about to hit five and i couldn't sleep and i was like you know what? i just kind of feel like making a video that's my tip for you guys hopefully it wasn't too um boring i'm gonna try and cut this down as much as possible um but yeah hopefully it was helpful but that's gonna be it for this one you guys hopefully you enjoyed hopefully i helped you out in some form or fashion and yeah i'll see you in the next one i've got an exciting series i'm gonna be announcing pretty soon so stay tuned and look out for that video coming out on my channel pretty soon i've got an exciting series for this game that i'm gonna be doing and I've also got another series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Um, it's going to be a Let's Play series for a game that recently came out. If you're on Xbox and you're checking Game Pass, then you probably already know which game that is. But if you're not, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.
until then, peace out. Have a good everybody. Bye-bye.